Tonight, a Port Arthur woman is fighting for her right to use public transportation. Melissa Jackson is legally blind and she relies on the paratransit bus to get around town. And now suddenly the city's transit department says her home is outside the limits where the bus is allowed to travel. Today, she took her fight to the Port Arthur City Council. 12 News reporter Gloria Walker is here tonight. And Gloria, uh, she says this bus really, it's her lifeline. That's exactly right. Jordan, Brenda, Melissa Jackson has used that paratransit since 2018, and she says it's one of the only ways left that she's able to regain her independence. I need the paratransit so I could still be Melissa Jackson. Without that, I'm not going to be me no more. Bus stop number 489 has been a vital part of Melissa Jackson's life for the past five years. Her diagnosis of the rare eye disease retinitis pigmentosa forced Jackson to make major lifestyle changes. With my guide dog, he doesn't make me feel like I'm disabled. The cane makes me feel like I'm disabled. Now considered legally blind, Jackson and her seeing eye dog use the paratransit to get around. But since January 1st, she no longer qualified due to the three-fourth mile rule, which is the distance off a set bus route drivers can go to pick up those with disabilities that place her address right outside that boundary. The three fourth mile radius thing that they have with the ADA, but the city can override that. Today, Jackson went to City Hall to share her concerns with both council and the transportation director, where he answered why this is happening. What occurred was we went through our database and we're, we're basically cleaning up clerical errors. So unfortunately, um, there, there were some mistakes made where some individuals were given access to the service that did not qualify based upon the boundary. No resolution was made during the council meeting, but Mayor Barti says the city should be able to find a solution within a month. I gotta keep fighting. I gotta keep fighting it because if I don't keep advocating for myself, this solution is never gonna get fixed. Now, there are still a lot of pieces for this conversation to still be had, so a solution can be found for Ms. Jackson, but we will stay on top of this to see if anything is found. In studio, Gloria Walker, 12 News.